What are you doing? Put a mini trail in the mailbox. Good job. I'm just working away inside the camper, still putting in panels. I don't know, get a little glimpse of it here. There's a lot of empty holes in there behind me. Hoping to get that roof one finished up, and then the other roof on the front. And then right now, I'm just putting in the front wall here. Not sure yet if we're gonna put a pass-through window into the truck. Really depends if I can fit through the window in my truck. And then we're gonna put these two corner ones in, one on each side and that'll finish off the front wall so basically i'm trying not to make it repetitive because every panel goes in the same way maybe the rivets are in a different place but each one is adding a lot of finished product and well pretty soon we're going to need some lights inside of here or it's going to be dark when we're on the camera Just about to put the last panel on the flat part of the roof this one's about 48 by 48 it's a big one basically inside the camper now it's pretty dark without these lights coming through but this will give you an idea of what the roof looks like um, all these seams are going to have self leveling lap sealant on them to stop it from leaking and we have about two inches to an inch and a half of clearance from the garage door opener the rivets on the other side because the garage isn't wide enough with the rails to reach over that side so hope it holds so far so good The final look now of how the roof looks with all the flat panels all installed only thing left to do up here is a little bit more cleaning and then put on the sealant on all the seams um, just to show you how strong this thing is now I am standing out on the bunk probably be the last time anyone can ever stand up in the bunk of this camper because the roof's going in next but it's not sagging at all and everything's holding together strong.
shout out to the Knights Crossing. He's a viewer. He's been watching me from the start. I was watching his video the other day. He's building his own camper and his rivet gun quit. So good on you for doing it with your hand riveter. I almost feel bad every time I squeeze the trigger, but hope you get yours fixed. Well, it's a positive temperature day, so I got the garage door opened and uh, we're letting a little bit of sunshine come in and it's nice to see a little bit of shine coming off the camper aluminum again. Uh, just gives a little bit of excitement of how it's going to look this summer when we're traveling. Um, so I'll show you what I'm doing right now. I'm just working on this piece of angle aluminum. Hard to see it here with this angle. Now this is what we're going to use as part of our roof rack system. So that'll attach to the sides and it's mounted in behind the corner here for extra strength and uh, we'll be able to connect to that run one over to the other side and put some rails across the top of it and that should allow us to hopefully put this paddle board on the roof and maybe another one if we build one for each of us so we'll uh, see how it goes here Thanks Jen for the workbench. Doubles as a pretty good step stool to reach the top of the camper. Clamps are too short. So as you can see behind me, I got all the flat bar put on the side of the camper. Uh, it's pretty tough to know where to put the rivets and to keep them all organized, but Anyway, it'll hold it on there and should be good. Um, so if you're new to the channel, every one of these is an individual panel that has to be cut out. Uh, I got a few of them cut here today and I'm gonna start working away at putting them in. First thing I'm gonna do is the biggest one here on the side cause well, you gotta make the biggest difference first and it'll make you feel better about it. And uh, up here at the top, I don't know how well you can see it, I've got my little bit of what's going to be the start of my roof rack. It's just a piece of angle hooked in there. And well, hopefully it'll hold some weight. Um, one dilemma we're in right now is we're not sure if we're going to do solar panels mounted up on the roof or if we're going to do like a battery pack power station. So if you've had experience with these, either of these in your lifestyle or what you do, Comment below, give us some ideas, uh, maybe it'll help us make up our mind. So I just take a little bit of sandpaper, do behind each of the panels, and then the double sided tape will go on there and a bead of silicone on the inside. Um, one bit of advice that I've learned if you're doing one of these at home, when you put your square tubing in for the bracing, it would be a lot easier in the long run if you measured them into two foot or four foot spans, so that when you're cutting your panel, all the sizes are closer to the dimensions of what the sheet of styrofoam is. Mine, uh, some of them are 25, some of them are 48, but there's a little bit of thinking involved to not waste a lot of the material. And while well, the price has gone up, it's quite expensive for the extra sheets that I need. But when I bought it the first time, they didn't have enough there, but thankfully they have some more, so we'll be able to get it finished up and then we'll hit the road. Panels set in place, that's well, one of probably about 46 that's left to go, but hey, could be 47, so we're making progress. Gonna go ahead, drill the holes, put the screws in it, and uh, well, then we'll move on to the next one, and again, and again. What kind of squares? Uh, Samoa squares. Yay. Okay. And I'm going to go pick for Daddy. Want to see how you know it? How? Me, me. Bye. Hi, the name. What do you think Samoa squares taste like?
ice cream. Sounds good. Can't wait. Go cook them. Okay. I want to do it so fast. <laughs> gluing two more panels now uh, this is definitely the most time-consuming part waiting for the glue to dry uh, I've got a couple more panels left to put in the camper but I'm stuck on a delay now until I get these glued so I'm gonna go ahead put the glue on spread it around and you can watch and see how it goes <music> So the flat bar is all installed on this side of the camper now that we got it spun around. Uh, there's a few spots, stuff falling off the shelf here. Uh, there's a few spots where there's a couple extra rivets that they need to be, but I just drilled the wrong holes. But anyway, you can see all the holes as I walk along here, and that'll show you how many rivets are going to go into this camper. Uh, I got the roof rack all cut out for this side. And uh, that'll join up with the other side and we'll be able to mount some stuff to it. On the inside, it's kind of dark in here right now. You can see where the door is at the rear. All the insulated panels are in. Uh, there is the one inch tubing that's still showing. It's going to be covered over by another layer of styrofoam on the inside. And the windows should be here on Thursday, so we'll be able to get a little bit of light into this thing. Other than that, I'm going to go ahead, glue some more panels together, and then when I come back, Hopefully we can start putting the panels into this side then we'll start siliconing all the seams lap sealing on the roof and Then we'll start putting the extra layer on the inside and we should be ready to put the windows in after that Thanks for following along if you are subscribed. Thank you very much for all the support if you're not subscribed Well, go ahead if you like this video click it. There'll be more like it and uh, if there's anything specific on the camper that you want to see or you want something a little more close in detail, let me know in the comments below. And uh, I'll do my best to focus on that. If not, see you next time.